Do you think you've mastered neurology? Let's put your knowledge to the test. Which of the following is the best justification for delaying lumbar puncture and obtaining neuroimaging first in a patient with suspected meningitis? Do we need to do imaging before our spinal tap? Well, oftentimes patients get imaging. They come into the emergency department and a CT of the head is done and we know what that looks like before the spinal tap. But not always. And there are five indications for getting imaging, a CT of the head, a, a, a computed tomography, a CAT scan of the head, or an MRI prior to lumbar puncture. And these are the five. If the patient has a focal neurologic deficit, there could be a mass lesion in the brain. That mass could cause a pressure differential, and we wouldn't want to LP that patient without looking at the, the imaging. If there's a new onset seizure, new onset seizure means a mass lesion in the brain until proven otherwise, and if there's a mass lesion in the brain, there could be a pressure differential, and we need imaging before evaluating that patient. Papilledema. Papilledema means increased intracranial pressure until proven otherwise, and that is coming from a mass, again, until we have imaging that says that it's not. If there's a mass lesion, there could be a pressure differential. We wouldn't want to LP that patient unless we have imaging. Abnormal level of consciousness. We can't do a comprehensive exam in many of those patients to look and be convinced that there's not a focal deficit or some type of papilledema. And so again, abnormal level of consciousness impairs our ability to look on exam for a new mass lesion, for a pressure differential, and those patients need imaging. And then the last indication for imaging before LP is an immunocompromised state. Weird things happen, different things happen, and patients don't always present with the typical symptoms. So it's harder for us to trust our history and exam in patients who are immunocompromised, and we need imaging to show that there's not a pressure differential, that there's not a risk of herniation with the spinal tap, and we get imaging before spinal tap in those patients.